Power Fabric. Blech. These are the new Power Fabric. Fabric. That's two. The new Giorgio Armani Beauty Armani. Now Armani is really known for their aluminous. Armani is really known for their silk aluminum. So when I heard about this guy being really full coverage and I don't know, I just. As you guys can. As you guys can clearly see, I don't have any makeup on. I just have moisturizer. I want to actually carve my brows with one of the colors. I just want to see how well it moves or not. I normally use the NARS Creamy Custard or the Kat Von D type of textured concealers to carve my brows and shape them. So I'm really interested on how this product actually moves on the skin with a brush applicator. So as you guys know, this is going to be the new Armani Power Fabric Concealer. So when I heard that they came out with this which was about a month ago I just have this big old zit here it's healing really slow so I couldn't film this video when I first got it so I'm getting it to it now it's kind of gone now but it's red so it'll be a great example to try to conceal this without using a color corrector now when I heard about the power fabric coming out I was like hmm well, it was kind of like hesitant to try this only because I did the power of fabric foundation video which I'll put the link down below for you guys if you guys haven't seen it the foundation was actually okay for me it is a matte foundation I'm more of like a combo skin and if anything it's more combo dry I can still wear mattifying or matte finish type of products however I just need to hydrate properly just to balance the skin so it's not super dry and super dry looking I was a little bit hesitant of that foundation just because it's too matte for me but again I could have made it work if I properly hydrated my skin beforehand however the finish of that was a little bit too strong for my skin type now going back to the power fabric concealers I'm really excited because I do like a full coverage but I want something that's still silky and not so dry looking and finished. Armani is known for their illuminating silk foundation, which is so nice. I own that. I also did a review on that and it's so nice. So I'm hoping this is going to treat me well. <laughs> so as always, I'm going to read a little bit about this product on Sephora's website. These are the new Giorgio Armani Beauty Power Fabric High Coverage Stretchable Concealers. They value at $34 and they offer 20 shades. So far, there's only 13 views, but there is 4.9 out of 5 stars and 92% that would recommend this. A high coverage matte concealer that easily blends to correct and naturally cover in one step. From dark circles to redness and blemishes, this concealer delivers high coverage payoff to hide imperfections throughout the whole day. This non-creasing stretchable concealer is formulated with time-releasing oils to seamlessly glide across the skin for easy blending and long wear results. On Sephora's website, they do recommend using this with their Armani foundations. This is how the package looks like. It's the same black and silver like all their other packages. This is also the Power Fabric Family package, which the foundation box has it in red. The two shades I got was five and six. I do like the fact that the first ingredient is water, so it's a water-based concealer. It does contain a little bit dimethicone, and that's where the smoothing part comes into play. I wonder where the stretchable concealer comes from. Maybe the cellular something gum? Oh, it also contains sunflower seed oil. That's nice. But I hope not too much where it actually starts separating under the eyes. Oh, look how pretty this package is. So these are the two shades that I got. You can clearly see the top one here is a lot lighter, which I'm going to use more for highlighting and carving my brows. The lower one is closer to my skin tone, so I'm going to use that for under the eyes and just spot treating around the face. This is a neutral which has pinks and yellows, so it's a little bit more light. Whereas this one is just all golden, so it's more warm. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. It has a pretty doe foot applicator. Wow! This doe foot applicator is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at the shape of that. It's probably hard to see. I'm going to use my phone as a background so you can see how the shape looks like. Let's see if this has a scent. Oh! 
I guess I was hungry. Hmm. All right, let's do a swatch test. Ooh. This is extra creamy, guys. Look at this. Let's try the number six. What I like about this so far is that after I swatch this, I didn't have to dip this back in here. I could actually put this on the table because it's nice and flat. So that's a plus. You see how that one's a lot warmer? This is perfect for under my eyes and spot treating all that red. Now my hands are so dry right now just because it is dry. I wash my hands a lot. I try to moisturize. So on my hands, it does look a bit scaly. But we're gonna try it on my moisturized and hydrated face. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm gonna let you see my yucky face without any makeup because it's so spotty and all these dots and crazy looking face. Here we go. Today we're gonna have a little challenge just because I have this little guy here. Thank God the scab. I know this pimple was really crazy. It became like a big old zit and a big old scab and Yesterday when I washed my face, it finally came off. I did not peel it off, but it does have like this red part here, which is very textured. So keep in mind when you guys use concealers, texture may appear. However, when you have color that you need to neutralize, it can be corrected. Since I haven't shaped my eyebrows yet, I'm gonna go ahead and use the number five because I wanna see how this product works. So I'm just gonna use an applicator since this is my product. I'm just going to dab it like so. Oh, that is a lot of product, but I'm going to get a little bit more because I do need to shape my brows pretty good. <laughs> so I'm going to take my flat brush like I normally use. So far, this texture is really thin when I'm using the brush. It's definitely not thick or creamy like the Kat Von D or the NARS. The texture is actually a lot smoother than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was actually going to be really thick. You guys know this side I have a challenge with, so I'm going to need some quiet time. I'm kind of shook here. What? I don't say this word often. I mean, I don't think I've ever even said that before. Huh, <laughs> guys, I have no words for this. Oh my gosh. I literally just carved my brows and I'm just taking the spoolie and brushing it. I think I really like this. So I'm going to use the number six for under my eyes. I'm not using too much. I'm just taking a little bit and I'm just feathering it. So far it blends really nicely. It looks so like awake right here because it's like so even. So far it's really smooth. It doesn't feel like it's sitting on the skin. It doesn't look like it. You may have little patches right here, but I think that should be okay. All right, this side. This is a pretty good color. It's basically my skin tone, which is what I was aiming for. To be honest, this is such a perfect color for me. It literally looks like my skin tone. I can honestly just spot treat my face, powder if I wanted to or not, and it wouldn't make a difference and it looks like makeup. It didn't cover my blemish too much, but it did even it out. Sometimes you don't want to cake on too much to seem like you're really trying to cover it. So this is how my complexion looks like. I still have a lot of like redness around here. 
which is okay because I'm still gonna use the foundation to blend everything together. My main concern was under my eyes, around my nose, which tends to be the most red right here in the center. So far, it's not feeling heavy. It actually really just evened out my skin. Still breathable. It doesn't have a scent. See, it kind of sets itself, so if I really wanted to just wear this and just spot treat, I could do this without any other coverage like foundation. This actually just sets really nicely and it does have a little powdery finish. I'm actually going to build the concealer a little bit more right here because I still have a lot of redness right here. I want to see how well this covers without building too much. As you can see, it really reduced a lot of the redness here and it's still not heavy or cakey. I think I'm going to build this side and probably just rock the concealer look today. Guys, I literally look like I'm wearing foundation. I noticed in the mirror that I have a lot more redness going on on this side of the face rather than here. I'm wondering because I drive a lot, the sun's always on this side of the face. That's why you guys should carry that sunscreen super goop 50 spray, which I have on my side door because I'm like, because I'm like, psh, psh, psh. but still it didn't really protect it as much. So that's why I have a lot of red spots here. However, this concealer did cover a lot of this. This side doesn't have as much redness, but it evened it out really nicely. So I'm gonna give you one more view of doubling up the layer of the concealers on my face. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll come back for my final thoughts. So this is my completed look. I basically just used a little bit of my contouring and a little bit of my ambient glow. I really wanted a soft diffused look and I really, really do love this concealer. So just looking at my complexion, everything is really soft. It's setting really nicely. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. It's very even. I have my redness kind of concealed. It's not like a perfect full coverage like an actual foundation would give you. And I know using a concealer spot treating is a lot of products, but sometimes I like to just use more of a concentrated product or something that can use less than actually using that and another product on my face. This is a really even glow, looks really natural. It's not super opaque. I still have my freckles and stuff peeking through, which is totally fine. I truly like this. I wouldn't really use this for a carving tool just because I feel like it's a little bit more sheer. Um, I don't know. I'm just used to the NARS Creamy Concealer and the Kat Von D because it's a little bit thicker. But I mean, I could still use this, but I wouldn't want to waste this concealer on just carving. Hey guys, just a little shift in this video. I was editing the footages and I was trying to edit and finish this video in time. And I was like, what happened to my outro? I mean, I didn't give my complete final thoughts. I went through both of my SD cards. So I was backtracking to all my footages and I just don't know what happened to that last clip. So here I am. I know I look a little different. My hair is in a little top knot bun right now. As you guys can see, I recently just got my hair colored. Please pardon my crazy hair. And I'm on like, day three and I can't wash my hair quite yet just because I need to go out today to get my violet and clarifying shampoo. So for now, dry shampoo is my best friend. But just going back to these concealers, I truly love these. They're not gonna be the same textures and formulation of the NARS Creamy Custard and the Kat Von D, which I usually like to do when I carve my brows, but this is something to keep in mind to still use to highlight and brighten, which I did today. It's really smooth. If I were to travel and these were the only two products that I brought, I still would use this to carve my brows but I feel like it's kind of a waste because it's a really pretty luxury great quality concealer overall these are really nice concealers I wouldn't say they're supremely full coverage in a sense like the Tarte Shape Tape and NARS Creamy Custard Kat Von D however I consider these like a medium coverage yet buildable Overall, these are great medium buildable coverage concealers. It's very airy, very light. Again, it's not too full coverage, but I do like how it sets itself.
myself and I truly do like these. All right, guys, I think I need to end this video because my light is out of batteries. Anyways, I'll go ahead and put everything in the info box for you guys if you guys are interested. Stay tuned as I have my drugstore makeup glam coming up with this new crazy hair and stay tuned for more videos. Love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!